how does your fund invest in crypto? Can you, I know, I know you can't really get into a whole lot of detail, but not looking for the secret sauce, just the, yeah. the, the so how do you do that? Yeah. The secret sauce wouldn't hurt. Right. <laughs> so just so that I can be most helpful is the question, how would one purchase an asset or are you more interested in, are you talking about strategy? Yes. <laughs> well, well, yes to all of it. Okay. So if you're, if you're investing in a particular coin, for example, mm -hmm. you're, you're talking about uh, really an asset that you, you don't really know what the value is. Okay. When you're in investing in the technology, um, that allows businesses to function. It's a little bit different. So, or, so what or, is your fund or, or is it? Because I think, you know, to build on that, like what there's a lot of people including myself, there's a lot of speculation based off of the asset, you know, coin or whatever it is, the value. And then, you know, that's why I don't invest in, in much in the real estate mar or not the real estate market, but the, uh, you know, crypto. We're not crypto. Well, okay. Stock market. Yeah, <laughs> stock market. Wow. You all are just, you all are just going. Uh, that's why I don't invest in the stock market very much Can't is be. because there's a lot of, you know, speculation from my perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and there, there can be. So I yeah. think, how would you, how would you talk to somebody that says, Hey, I see what you're doing, but I just feel like, how do you, how do you quantify an asset's value? Is it really speculation or, or what do you, what's the methodology to quantify that? Yeah. And so, you know, it's a great question. And what I would tell you is when we're processing even a piece of real estate, what's the questions you're asking? Do I believe that this property is going to retain and hopefully appreciate in value over time? I'm looking at its appreciation value. Do I have a good utility or a good use case where I believe that this will predictably continue to drive a need in the market as markets are growing and changing in this current economic season. And then if I'm investing with someone else, I'm going to ask, do I believe that this team has the ability to operate with inside this asset class or to grow this business, right? Because self storage, we talked about mobile home communities, both areas where we invest, there's a management and a business component to that. So I've got to have a good team. And then I also got to ask about, the rate of adoption, right? So this is a new technology. So that's one of the differences, right? Self-storage, we have an idea of how it's growing. We have an idea of a historical track record where what are the use cases, how it's growing, you know, what the adoption rate looks like, what the supply and demand looks like. We're asking those same questions when we're looking at individual projects, because in reality, these are projects. OK, Bitcoin itself is a decentralized ledger, so there's not one organizing body over it, but everything else inside that space is really created with an organized body. And that body or business has a specific, a specific use case. It's looking to bring to the market and then it has a team developing and growing it. And then there's a network that then is adopting and using it. Right. So mm -hmm. just like with Facebook, one of the greatest values with Facebook is in its network effect. The fact that it has billions of daily users. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about network and adoption. So how many daily users are inside of it? How many transactions are taking place with inside this blockchain on a daily basis? Who are the people behind it? What are they trying to accomplish? And do we believe that they're going to be able to accomplish this over a period of time? And from the current price, what value do we believe is out there? So there's always a difference between fundamentals and technical. So what we're discussing right now is the fundamentals of that actual asset in particular. So those are what we're evaluating on a fundamental level. And then you also have to evaluate fundamentals on an economic level, right? what's happening globally right now, what's happening politically, what's happening with decisions with money printing, what are the Federal Reserve doing, where do we believe the movements are going to go over a period of time and how is that going to impact what's happening here? And then we have 
again, technical, which more comes to the price side. So we all know that there's a difference between price and value, right? Value is the actual use and the actual tangible utility. And then price is what it's trading for on a given day. So we're trying to create what you'd call alpha is finding good projects that we believe have a ability to appreciate over time that have strong transactions and use case that we believe will be utilizable and continue to have broader adoption and already have good traction. And then of course, like anything, if we feel the variables have changed, we make adjustments. And so that's really why if you go back 15 years within real estate, we're always asking the question of what's been good and what do we believe will be good. And so we've been in single family. We then worked in commercial and commercial. We've had times where we were more focused on cash flow and we had you know more specialty assets like corporate housing or wedding venues. And then we've also done apartments where we believe it has a strong staying power and then has you know an appreciable uh, an ability to appreciate over time. And then now our, our focus for assets would be self storage and mobile home communities on the real estate side, because we believe they have the ability to sustain in a market that has a lot of uncertainty. And so we're factoring all those things in, not just on our real estate portfolio, but on this side as well. And so when you, when you zoom way out, we ask very similar questions on the crypto side that we do on the real estate side.